This is your first presentation for Education 111, and I want to walk you through the steps of the presentation so when you're working on the presentation on your own, you know what to do. So here's our first slide. And moving into the presentation, we're going to start with a question. Just go ahead and read this slide. Here's our first topic, using Hack's website as a resource. What you're going to do on this slide is you're going to watch this video right here. And I want you to learn the difference between hack.edu and myhack.edu. And take a minute and visit each of those websites. They're linked right here. Then we're going to explore hack.edu and myhack.edu. And you're going to click right here on the scavenger hunt form. It's going to take you into a website called Scribd. And that will allow you to download the activity and print it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to complete the scavenger hunt. So there's questions on here. There's seven questions. I want you to complete that task. And then when you finish it, you're going to drop box the filled out worksheet. And also in step seven, you're going to be make, creating a resume using the resume builder on the website. And so you're also going to drop box that. You're going to drop box that in week one's participation drop box. Our second topic is goal setting, and that's a read-only slide. This slide is a reading slide, but there's a podcast up here in the corner. So you want to listen to that as well. Then you're going to try it out. You're going to set one personal goal and one academic goal for yourself using the DAPS process, and you're going to post your answer to Padlet. Padlet is an online uh, discussion board and allows you to share your ideas with your classmates all in one place. So all you do is you click on the word Padlet and it'll take you right into the Padlet board and there's directions there on what to do. Our third topic is responsible and independent. There have a, again a reading slide, read the definition. And then we're focusing on the difference between being a victim and being a responsible uh, active participant. So this is a reading only slide. Go ahead and read that slide. And then read the opposite of it. This is what we really want. So you're gonna, this is a reading slide as well. Then you're going to listen to the video about using the wise choice process. And click right there and it'll play for you. And then again, we're gonna try it out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click here on this handout. And that's going to again take you to Scribd. You're going to print that worksheet out it's a two-page sorting activity, so you're going to cut out the gray pieces on this page and on the next page, and you're going to sort them. And then after you sort them, take a picture with your phone, and you're going to drop box that picture in the week one participation drop box. Also, I want you to make a connection to this activity. How can you use the wise choice process, or what does this example make you think of in your own life? And you're going to click on the word Padlet and go to a new Padlet board and post your answer there. Last but not least, I'm going to introduce the first year seminar project. And that project is right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the project folder on D2L. And you're going to print the advisor assignment. You can also link it on Scribd by clicking right here. Uh, once you have the directions, you're going to watch the video right here, and that video is going to talk you through the project. There's five tasks to the project. Here's the due dates for each of those tasks, and if you have any questions, you can contact me. The last slide of our presentations are most important because they tell you what is due. So this week, for weekly participation, you're going to complete two Padlet boards, one on slide 9 and one on slide 15. You're also going to drop box the scavenger hunt and you're sorting the wise choice process. Those are going to compile the 10 points for participation this week. So I'll check that you've done all those and I will award you 10 points if you've completed everything. Also, an assignment is to begin task one and task two of your advisor assignment. So that's going to be what you're starting and that's due on week three. So that is our presentation. Go into the actual presentation now and complete it. And if you have questions, let me know. Good luck.